The first thing you will need to do is download the Aspire mobile app from either the Play or Apple Store. Once downloaded, you will need to log in and enter the information given to you by the Snow Services Company. You will have to enter in an email address, a password, your company code, and a name for your device. Then press the arrow button. You will have to wait for someone at the company to approve you. Approval will only have to be done once per device. When you get approval from the office, then you will press refresh. You will press the button to ensure that snow mode is on. Then enter in the pin they gave you and press the arrow again. The first thing you will do is clock in. You can't do any work if you don't. You can then log out and allow your crew to log in. Your crew will enter in their pin and push the arrow. The only thing your crew can do is clock in on your phone and they will be immediately logged out. You can enter in your pin again and push the arrow. Next, you will push on the schedule. Here is where the properties assigned to you and your crew will appear. Up at the top is the first property the office wants you to go to. Simply press on it. All the services that you can do will appear here. You will select the one that is pertinent to the job. You can then press the start button. If you are using any equipment for this service, then you can select it from the drop-down menu. You have the option to start work for just yourself on this service or for everyone on your crew. Let's pick just one person to start work. What's great is once Brian has started clearing the snow, you can press the back button and press the back button again. The property you were working on has moved to the bottom of the list, but you can still click on it. and select another service. Let's say a crew member is going to clear the walkways the same time you are plowing. You will start this job as well. Select start work for the crew member who will be shoveling the sidewalks and then press the back arrow and press the back button again. Now you have two work tickets or jobs going on at the same time. When you have completed the job you will press the work ticket. Then you will press stop. Then stop work since only one person is working on this job. If there was more crew then we could press stop all. A question will be asked if you would like to complete this ticket. If you're not done for the day then you would select no. If you have completed the job then you will press yes. The completed ticket will drop to the bottom of your schedule. You will repeat the process for any other finished jobs on the ticket. You will press the ticket up at the top. Press stop, then stop all or stop work. You will be asked the question again, would you like to complete this ticket? Select yes when finished. Both tickets have been completed and the property that you have worked on has moved to the bottom of the list. You can then move on to the next property. When you and your crew have finished for the day, you can press the back arrow and press on crew. You can then clock out individuals or select on clock out all, and then log out. We hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching.